feel crooked. Hi! Welcome to Spicy Cat Jams. I'm Kathy. I have some long overdue appreciation. We're going to just call this the Wahoo Mail Roll Call. Um, I don't, I'll, well, I try and do a video um, whenever I get mail from my wonderful friends out there, my new friends and my seasoned friends, uh, just because I love to share it with everyone. Um, so I've received, I guess since the beginning of the year, <laughs> yeah, sorry, um, just some cards and notes and stuff, and I've contacted the people privately to let them know I appreciate it, and then I received a few things recently for um, my birthday, which I'm not real big about publicizing out on social media, so obviously I think I have it set on Facebook so my personal Facebook friends would know, but otherwise I don't really announce it. I'm just not... A big birthday person. I mean, I'm very glad to be alive and breathing for another year, but kind of had this revelation last year that once you lose your parents, providing you had a good relationship, yada, 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 um, it's just not as exciting because really in the entire world, your parents are probably the people who are most excited for your birthday because that was the day you entered their lives officially and were born and um you know i always had special moments with them on my birthday and now that they're gone it's like yeah not that people don't care anyway this isn't a depressing video this is a happy video because my life is beyond blessed i say that frequently in my videos because i truly do mean it granted there's a lot of not so great stuff, but it's things like this, just like a little note out of the blue that you guys have no idea how much it means to me. So let's just kind of go through the mail call. And um, I received a few. I'd sent out um, Christmas cards and pretty much anybody, I try, <laughs> I try to keep track, but if I receive like a card or a letter or something from someone during the year, I um, send them out a Christmas card. So I did that and then people are like so sweet. I'm like, really? You don't have to send me a card thanking me for a card. <laughs> but thank you. This is my friend Zena. Um, she has a channel out here. Anyone that has channels, I will um, try and do the link in the eye in the sky to their channel, and I'll also include it in the top of the description bar down below, so if you want to check them out. Zena is a very small channel, um, but she's growing, and she likes to do Dollar Tree hauls, and she's just the sweetest, sweetest gal, and she knows how much I love these stickers from Dollar Tree. These are like some of my favorites, and especially the Monarchs. And so there's one on the back. So she had just sent me a very sweet note just basically saying thank you and happy new year. So it was a happy new year card. So a thank you again, Zena. Another one I got is from another friend, YouTube friend. I G does not have a channel. And she sent me, look how beautiful this card is. I just love the verse there. It's just beautiful. I'm a spiritual person. And um, just, again, a personal note and a little bit of letter, a little bit of a letter, a little letter. It was just kind of Christmas and New Year's. And I love the way she signed it. Take care and stay spicy. Well, yes, there's no other way for me to be because I am the spicy cat chick. <laughs> and then I received, um, now we're going to February, some Valentines. And this was from another friend of mine, Paula. I'm not going to give like the full detail. Um, and she and I have connected, well she found me through YouTube and then she has purchased some Stamping Up products from me. And she gets our monthly um, subscription box from from Stamping Up called Paper Pumpkin and she made one of the cards for me. Um, I had sent her some goodies just to thank you for doing business with me and she customized it a bit. Look, she added this beautiful little kitty cat. He's a wooden one and I'm pretty sure did you colored him, didn't you? Anyway, this was a very, very cute set and then um, it's got these little clips but then it opens up and then she wrote a note to me inside and says that she loves the paper pumpkin and then you can untie it. I'm not gonna open all that, but super cute. And it'll go in my, I do have a, I bought it at Hobby Lobby, 
Um, I kind of call it my treasure box. You know, they have all those decorative boxes and I bought a box um, like over a year ago and that's where I keep all of the letters that people send me because some days you're having a bad day, just need to think about your friends. So we got that one from Paula and this is from my friend Amber. She has done a couple um, YouTube videos. I don't know if you've done any recently, but she's very busy, young married um, couple, starting out on life, um, trying to find a job, all of that stuff. Her and her husband are very nice to me and she sent me a very cute Valentine's card. And we know everything doesn't focus. Um, and she's very encouraging. This was just what I needed at this time. And the, the Dorkin shorts, I've talked about Heather before. I absolutely have enjoyed her. I started watching her when I first kind of started watching YouTube videos um, a couple years ago. I was so late to this YouTube game. I didn't even watch them before I started making them. And I just loved her channel name, The Dork and Shorts. So I'm like, you're my favorite Dork and Shorts. And um, she lives up in Canada and maybe, maybe by now, I don't think it's shorts weather, but it should be warmer. But she is crafty and, <coughs> excuse me, I think I messed this up when I put it back in. Look at this beautiful card that she made. Look at the little like pennant with the fringy banner and the pretty hearts. Adorable. And then on the inside, I can show, it doesn't have anything too personal. She put in, you know, these little post-it kind of flags. Little, well, actually, they're little notebooks for me to use. And look how she used this like postcard or um, paper on the inside instead of just leaving it blank for the note. So, Heather, thank you. I loved, I loved my Valentine's Day card. And I, like I said, she, her craftiness amazes me. The stuff she comes up with, she is one talented lady. Okay, then we have, I'm just kind of slow moving and chatty. What are, okay, I don't know why these are here, but hey, I'm gonna show you because I can throw them away. I showed these in um, a Hobby Lobby haul quite a while ago. They had been on clearance and they're like these vinyl stickers to put on your planner. Well, I just happened to have it right here. This is what I did with them. I put them on my mug. My, it's um, a Arctic, Arctic brand is the name of it. So it's my giant purple mug that Eddie bought me. So I put the heart and then I put the quote on this side to start each day with a grateful heart. And this is my like, every day I have it, fill it with ice in the morning and then I just keep adding water all day and I only drink water out of it but it helps me drink my water so that's what I use these for and even at four dollars that's not bad here's my tip though if you were to buy I bet this would work for anybody again this is supposed to be a mail roundup it's a chatty Kathy video this one is staying on very good because it's large and has a lot of surface area. What I've found is I have to be very careful. Well, obviously like washing, these are only hand wash, you have to be gentle. But because the words are like so tiny and thin, um, they are starting, they easily get caught and could peel off. So if you are thinking about, you know, something you're gonna handle a lot, which even like a planner, but maybe because that's flat, it's not as bad, um, these top, words are the ones I've noticed that are probably going to come off sooner or later, but I'm just very careful and I'll throw this away. So then some birthday goodies, um, which my birthday, um, I always celebrate the whole month. Who knows if we'll get this posted before the end of April, but my birthday is April 1st. No fooling, it's not a joke, it's actually my birthday. That would be maybe a good Truth Be Told Tuesday question. There's a whole story behind my birthday, of course. Um, natural, wasn't planned, wasn't a C-section. So, but this was the very first year my birthday fell on Easter in my living years. Um, I had looked it up and I think it was 1950 something was the last time. And then if all goes well, I should have it two more times. I think there's like in 2028, 20, and I can't remember like when I'm gonna be 70. Um, I'll have inserted the, the years. I just Googled it to find out. And I just found it interesting because quite often my birthday is around Easter, and I swear it's been on Palm Sunday and Good Friday more than once. 
Um, so this was the first Easter birthday, so that was kind of fun. And the very first birthday card I always receive is from our good friends at Menards. <laughs> and they send me my coupon for my free gift. I don't know if we're going to go get this 9-inch wooden torpedo level, but um, it just always cracks me up because they are like so prompt. And it's because we have a credit card through them, which we have not used for years. It's like paid off. It's just like there. But hey, they're just trying to entice me in. Thank you, Menards. And then like the week before my birthday, I got this surprise package in the mail. And I usually know, well, I knew who it was from because she had put her name. It's from my friends, Linda and John, that I've met through YouTube and we chat and she watches my videos and we chit chat. Um, and I don't remember how she knew it was my birthday. Obviously she knew it was because she's smart and she's probably better than me and wrote it down because I forget everybody's everything. So, and she messaged me then that she'd sent me this and I'm like, I got it, but I'm saving it until my birthday to open because again, I don't do much and Eddie was actually on the road. So I was home alone, yada, yada. Um, so I saved it and opened it on my actual birthday. And it was like a priority mailbox. And I'm like, what is that? Um, so first we have a very beautiful card with all these spring flowers. I love lilacs. They're one of my favorites. And, um, just a very nice note wishing me a happy birthday and yeah signed from Linda and John and then look what she gave me oh. this is a Bath and Body Works candle and it is in the scent marshmallow fireside and look how beautiful it is it's I love these when they have the decorative lids I always think I'm gonna use them for something but I don't know Oh, it just smells so good. True fact, right now I have a previous one in my bathroom that I have um, on the counter and my curling iron rests on it because the little foot is broken, so I just need it to not touch the counter. So, but it's a decorative one. I had not smelled the scent before. Oh my gosh. Now I'm just gonna sniff it. You can watch me sniff. If you guys have had this, it, I haven't burned it yet. So it's still just a, what do they call this? A cold sniff. It's really, really good. And I do like Bath and Body Works candles. Um, I don't purchase them very often just because even when they're on sale, I'm like, oh, it's a candle. I'm going to burn it. And um, I'm just trying to be more mindful with my spending. So this was a real, real treat and surprise. So thank you so much, Linda. And John. Sorry. <laughs> I don't want him to feel left out. Then I received this from another friend. We've been friends now for pretty much a year. We Snapchat with each other. And um, she doesn't have a channel or anything. Her name's Tina. And she made this beautiful card. Inside, it's just a personal note. But she's she's crafty. So I'm like always embarrassed to like send people my cards when I make them because I think I can be crafty and then I get stuff and it's like just beautiful. And then she sent in addition to the little card, she just stuck in, look at this beautiful little paper pad from Cedar Lane, is that the brand? It's American Craft, Cedar Lane is the line I guess or the name of it. And it is all beautiful, they're single sided. You guys probably don't care. I can't do this very good. Oh, hey, now it popped open. <laughs> anyway, this is my per preferred size of paper pad for crafting. I do um, mostly paper crafts as far as making cards currently. I used to scrapbook, but I haven't done that for a long time, like 15, 15 going on 20 years. I keep thinking I'm going to get back into it, but I haven't. So this is absolutely perfect though for card making because I can take it with, it doesn't take up a lot of space. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Tina. You know I love it. I already told her to right away. And then I have three more, three more. Sorry, chatty Kathy. That's how it's gonna go and it's probably gonna go a little longer. These are gonna take longer. So this is a relatively new friend, Nikki, that, um, I've gotten to know in the past couple months and I did not even know they had Wonder Woman snaps. Other people, did you know? I bet my friend Carlene knows because she's a Wonder Woman freak. But this card is hilarious. Also, everybody knows I'm a cat person. Ninja Kitty says, say, sorry, nothing kicks butt like wishing you a happy birthday. 
I opened this one at the post office with Kim and we were both just laughing because it was so funny. Anyway, and she's so sweet. Sorry, this is late. I'm like, you didn't know it was my birthday, so it's not late. And then what, again, that alone made my day. This crazy lady gave me a Dollar Tree gift card. Really? Really? <laughs> Unnecessary. Um, but so greatly, greatly appreciated. Thank you. Thank you, Nikki. You are a true joy in my life. And I know we are going to be yakking a lot um, for years to come. That's the one of, well, there's a couple good things. Okay. That could be a whole nother chatty video. Okay. never mind. Sorry. Keep going on. Stay focused. As my husband would say, um, I just think it's such a blessing, the friendships that I've made through YouTube. So, and then today I got a present. I'm just going to show you, um, this company, they're out of Minnesota, believe it or not. I don't know why it should be or not, but uh, my friend Kim, you know, from Kicking It with Kim and Kathy, found it, and they're even from a town not that far from us, New London, Minnesota. They do these customized stamps, and Kim ordered one a while back, and I've been stocking their website, and I've had some custom stamps in my cart, and then I don't check out again, you know, gotta see till I can afford it. Um, and I still want to get some. <laughs> And hers was so cute. She just gave this to me today. It came in. Look what she had made for me. Created by Kathy with that beautiful butterfly. And it is your basic, you know, red rubber stamp. Whoops. Very nicely etched, deeply etched. It's on a cushion. That's for you stamping people. But you can have it. And there's one. Hers has a cat on. So they have another design with a cat. And I don't remember what else. And then I saw you could even like upload a picture like of your face. And I have one of my face, so I don't have it with me, but it has my high school picture on. Just my face, my graduation picture. So, um, Kim, thank you. <laughs> so I will still be ordering from them. And then, out of the blue, this arrives. Everything's always out of the blue. Nobody like tells me, ooh, keep an eye on your mail. I get this box. This just came this week. Look at this. And here is what I think is so genius. I think I've got everything covered up. Look what she used for the tag. She took a paint chip from Walmart. <laughs> we love Walmart. And taped it on and used it. And she, of course she used purple. Imagine she knew purple was my favorite color. And I was just like so impressed. So this is another YouTube friend. Doesn't have a channel. Her name's Sam. And um... Here we go. I got a whole box of goodies for Miss Sam. You caught me off guard. And I don't know. I've been trying to get a hold of her. So hopefully, at least she'll see this if she didn't get my other message. So she put in this beautiful card. And was right on top. And what I love so much. How can I show you? Um, she wants to send some happy mail. Oh, I can show you in the front. Look what she did. She signed her name like this down here, but she like layered the washi tape. So there's like this honeycomb one over that one, and then with the butterflies. Now, I have a lot of washi and I use it, but I never would have done it like that, and it's absolutely beautiful. Oh, here, I can cover up. See how she signed it then? Isn't that just beautiful? You're crafty. I didn't know you were crafty. So. Just very nice. Wanted to spread some joy. And then she got me a whole bunch of goodies. Now, and she is a smart shopper. So first we have this beautiful, look at this beautiful, but, oops, butterfly, glittery, sparkly, tealish blue. Wonder if I can put it, let me see. Oh, I could clip it up on that butterfly on my door. I will find a place for this. And everything else is wrapped very nicely. You're like a professional rapper, too. So, okay, let's just try and go through everything because there's way too much stuff. So, she got me this magnet that says, Shine Your Light. It's this wooden bar kind of a thing. That's pretty cool. She got, <laughs> I love this because, again, my birthday was on Easter. So, she sent me Easter goodies. So, I got a Russell Stover's Strawberries and Cream bunny. Now, this is going to be awesome. And I do like strawberry. 
and this is Russell Stover, so it's not even a generic brand. And then these, I think, are the same butterfly stickers she used on the envelope. Beautiful. I'm just trying to go fast, not because I don't appreciate, because I know I talk too much. And look how pretty this is. I love these little, um, this is like fabric quilted, and um, it says faith, hope, love, but the greatest of these is love. Just your little zippered container. Oh, I didn't notice that the um, fabric on the inside was different. It's not pretty. What's this brand? And um, oh, so what I like using these for is earbuds because I got earbuds everywhere and they're always getting tangled up. So I use these little baggies to put my earbuds in and then I can keep it in my purse. Um, I keep them in my drawer at work and they don't get all tangled. So I don't know if that's what I'll use this one for yet, but I do appreciate it. Um, then here's some of the best things. Well, they're all the best. I actually was looking for gum this morning at work. This is going right into my drawer here because I need some, some gum. And look, she made this beautiful, all in this butterfly little cup. And look at all the treats. Oh my gosh, I got suckers and Laffy Taffies. And I'm giving that some chocolate. And what I'm very excited about is I have not seen, oh, there's Russell Stover marshmallow mini eggs. <laughs> um, again, just because I haven't shopped for a while. There is a pineapple Laffy Taffy in here and a guava. I have never heard of such a thing. So, thank you. And uh, she's already gonna know this was my favorite <laughs> in the whole box. Oh my gosh, I love this. I don't know where you got it, but I love it. It's a little pink squishy cat, like a stress reliever. I haven't gotten into the whole squishy keychains and all that. But now, I can see why people are. This is like so cute, it's got this cute little butt, this tail, oh my gosh, Sam, this is adorable. Absolutely love him. He's gonna go right up here with my sushi cat that my friend Patrick sent me, and my Kimmy doll. Um, you know, I keep all this fun stuff nearby because this is my work environment. I'm not working at the moment, obviously. And it's not always the best. So I need things to remind me to be joyful. And this will work. And really, all I have to do is think of each and every one of you watching right now. Because, wow, thank you to everybody um, for just taking time and like dropping me a note. You certainly never... You know, I never expected, never need you to like do that. Um, but it is so nice. So nice. <laughs> um, I make my videos because I truly enjoy doing it. It's kind of fun. It's um, a little hobby it's become for my husband and I to do, and then my friend Kim and I. And we just have so much fun doing it. And then um, it takes a little bit of time and effort to get them out here and posted, which is why I'm always behind. But then interacting and getting to know everyone and laughing more and more, it, it's truly brought me so much joy. So that alone. So then to actually get a note to know that I've touched somebody else's life or they were, you know, wanted to, you know, give back and just give me a little, a little love in return. Wow. I'm not worthy as you know, Wayne and Garth would say, <laughs> but, um, I certainly do appreciate it. So, okay. I've yammered at you long enough. I'm going to like find new little homes for everything and get my thank you cards out to write because I'm always behind on that too. But thank you to each and every one of you. Again, I'm going to have the channels down below for the few of these friends that do um, videos. I'd love if you go support them. And thank you. I hope your spring, your April has um, gone well and you are on track for a stellar summer. And if you're not, or if you think you are, and then you hit a road bump, just don't give up. Um, it's tough times happen. You're gonna get through it. Um, don't doubt yourself. And always, 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 always tell yourself that you matter because you do. You are beyond an amazing, miraculous being. And I don't, I don't want anyone to ever think that they aren't because 
There's so much hate in this world. There's so many people that would rather try and bring others down to try and make themselves feel better. And there is enough love in this world. There is enough everything in this world. We can build each other up and help each other to succeed and feel worthy. So if you're ever in a position where you're about to like say something or do something that is not beneficial, is not going to help someone <laughs> in a positive way, just bite your tongue. Just bite your tongue and remember, we all have, have moments. And no matter how that person messed up, doesn't mean they're a mess up. It happened. We'll be okay. So I'm rambling. I'm rambling. I'm rambling. I just hate to say goodbye to you guys. But thank you again for hanging out with me and stopping. I hope to see you again soon. I love you, my friends. Goodbye.